I started working in the online mental health field because I grew up in a rural area and access to mental health care was always really limited. And throughout my undergraduate studies and my honours, I saw a way that technology could be used to address some of the needs that young people face. And I thought this was an area that I was really interested in and really passionate about. My research program focuses on how people use online communications, such as social media, to communicate the way that they're feeling, to communicate their thoughts of suicide and depression, and how the online network responds to that. So currently we've been focusing on ways to correctly identify when a social media post, such as a Twitter post, is indicating a true risk of suicide. And we've been looking at the language that online communicators use. And we also look at ways that we can categorise that, both as a lay person and a researcher. And what this will help us to do is to better understand the way people share their thoughts about their mental health in the online space, and then how we can engage the other people who they're communicating with, such as their friends and family and their online social network, to encourage them to seek help, to acknowledge that they may be feeling down or depressed and also to recognise that when a post is indicative of suicide, how genuine this is and what they can do to limit the risk to that person. Well, essentially at the moment, we're only really looking at Twitter, so it is mainly Twitter users, but it also leads into greater research potential in really understanding how the social network, both online and offline, responds to mental health problems and responds to people expressing mental health problems. And then the next step is how do we engage a social network to encourage help seeking. So at the moment it really is only focused on looking at Twitter users and social media users, but it has much greater potential. I think that our digital research programs will help young people uh, by really channeling the way they choose to communicate and it also allows us to have real-time access to people which is something that our health care services are really lacking and by channeling the way that they're communicating with their friends in the here and the right now we are able to give them help when they are most at need and prevent them from taking action or from feeling worse or from having really bad experiences when they engage with professional help seeking services. I think research in the digital space is so important because in Australia we have a really big challenge with the current mental health system is that it's unable to treat the amount of people that need to be treated. We also find that current treatments, face-to-face -face treatments, are not always the most effective way to treat people and that a number of people are not comfortable seeking help in face-to-face -face services. So I feel that the internet and digital research really fills a gap in this area, particularly for young people who are often really unsure of what's going on. And we know that they engage with the internet as their first port of call. So by us engaging with the way they communicate and the way they choose to seek help means that the service and treatments are better matched to their needs. And I feel that we have a really great potential to improve their lives by communicating with them in this way.